Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to continue, or hopefully finalize, the Arduino data logger project for the high altitude balloon. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric, and this is going to be hopefully the finalization of our Arduino data logger project for the space balloon. This thing, uh, if you haven't seen the build videos, I'll post a link up here. Um, it'll be a playlist. It'll start from number one. You're welcome to check out the build. What we did is we have a logger logging to SD card, also talking to Bluetooth, with barometric pressure for altitude, real-time clock, and another temp sensor. Time to start moving this thing to another board. So we'll go to the Arduino kit. Uh, there is a video on this if you haven't seen it, the the Arduino kind of ultimate starter kit of sorts. Put it together uh, over the last several months. In this bin I keep all my boards. So here's the proto boards that uh, we're interested in. I don't think we should need any more parts. We can ditch this thing for now. What I have instead of 3D printing an enclosure, I had this sitting on the bench today and it just kind of spoke to me that this thing would be perfect for the HAB project. It's super, super, super light. It's a sewing kit from Dollar Store. And uh, we'll take one of these proto earth boards, and I think we're going to use that size right there and take up uh, lots of real estate. And we have all kinds of room, so we're going to try and space things out to make it serviceable in case we run into any trouble. So we'll go ahead and start moving this over to this board and uh, I'll give you a sneak peek if I can find it here. This is what I picked up on the weekend among a few other things. This is going to be our HAB enclosure. Simple cooler bag. Bought a Canadian tire here in Ontario. Uh, it was cheap. It was very reasonably priced. I had some gift cards left over from Christmas. It has a plastic insert which I think is going to be perfect for what I want and then um, uh, marginally insulated bag. I'm not too worried about the insulation. We're going to be uh, providing payload heating, but this this solid plastic should offer us a good surface to mount to for our cameras. So one thing I forgot to mention, one thing I've learned uh, in my Arduino travels is uh, whenever possible don't pull apart completely a functional circuit until you have another functional circuit working. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this. I have another Nano here, a bunch of them in the bin, and uh, we'll get an SD card reader out, we'll do the board, and we'll get a fresh real-time clock module. I don't have any more pins, uh, header pins for these, so we're going to have to jump things to the board with wire. Uh, this is going to be an ugly build, I'll admit that right now. This thing is not going to be pretty when we're done. I'm gonna shoot for functional and not pretty. So, let's go ahead and tear into some things. Never even had one of these boards out of the package yet, so this ought to be interesting. I've never worked with one of these style perf boards. Double sided, pretty cool looking. I think that's gonna work out pretty good. And we need a real time clock. We're also gonna have to program this kind of. Didn't think about that because the other one is already pre programmed. And we'll take our Arduino if we can get it out of the board. And we'll start setting things up. And hopefully, our pin alignment will work for these. Oops, if I move it over far enough. And we'll find a home on the board, something like that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start laying things out. Alrighty, guys, so after about. Uh, Oh, I'd say 15 minutes of back and forth and trying just about every kind of option I could think of. I think this is going to be the layout we're going to do for this box. So the SD card will go here. I may or may not notch it out. Uh, I think we'll set the lithium polymer battery here for now and it gives us lots of room on the board to work with as well as uh, we'll put a real-time clock and our temp sensor connections. So I think this will do and we'll carry on.
Okay, I'll admit I got a little frustrated with the camera in the way and uh, had to shut it off. But here's where we stand now. I've got the components soldered to the perf board. Uh, I've got the voltage divider in place for the battery monitoring. I've hooked up to the VN and with any luck, we won't let the smoke out of this thing when we plug this in. Perfect. We are alive. So we've got our ground and power hooked up. Now it's time to hook up the I squared C data bus and the pins to our SD card. So I didn't get much video. <clears throat> As I said before, I got pretty frustrated with the camera getting in the way. I, uh, I worked my day job for 13 hours today and I just found myself getting frustrated too easy. So this thing is ugly as hell, but hey, it's it's hooked up and working. So uh, definitely not going to win any awards for uh, for making it pretty. But uh, yeah, really shouldn't do projects and when you're working so many hours during the daytime. It just never works out. Anyway, I'm going to pretty this up and uh, I'm going to put it on hold for tonight. And we'll get the uh, barometric pressure sensor added and the uh, Bluetooth and we're gonna call it done well it's a new day and I've done another 13 hour day hopefully it'll be a little less frustrating this time I didn't mention it yesterday but what I found was that these uh, the perf board just quite simply sucked really bad uh, don't buy cheap perf board that's all I can say. Uh, I didn't have much luck with it. It, uh, it didn't work out very well. So, um, hence all the jumpers I'm gonna do, and this thing is gonna be ugly as sin. But uh, hey, whatever. It is what it is, and we're stuck with it. Well, I think I'll be able to make it work. Well, the bench is a wreck, and the thing looks like a real piece of crap right now, but uh, it's working. All respects, battery monitor, both temp sensors, barrel sensor, and Bluetooth are talking. So, time to uh, just tidy up some of this rat's nest and uh, get it ready for the enclosure. Well, guys, <clears throat> I hope this thing keeps working, because what we've got now is what you would call an unserviceable unit. I really wish I could have taken the time to do a nice job on this for you guys and show you a proper build, something with some design on the PCB, but uh, I just don't have the time. I, I've got it. This thing's got to be done like yesterday. So I hot snot glued the hell out of everything once I ran it through some testing and found out that everything is working. Basically, uh, all solder joints and associated jumpers are, are tacked down with the, the hot glue. So hopefully nothing will come loose, which also means uh, if we have to do anything to this, we're screwed. This thing is uh, non-serviceable, but hey, um, pretty confident in it. It's working perfectly so far. I've run it through some thermal shocks already with the cold spray, no problem. So the basics are we've got our sensor for monitoring the cameras, we've got our sensor for barrel and external temp. Uh, what I did here I didn't explain. I've got a female connector. This is for the HCO6 Bluetooth module. I did that on a connector so I can unplug that when I'm working with programming the board because I, I may want to change the code a little bit. This is hooked right to the RX and the TX. I don't have enough room on the Arduino to do the software serial, so I just quite simply unplug it. And hopefully uh, this will fit in our box. Let's have one final look at it. So this is kind of the long and the short of it. Everything fits in the box. We've got the Bluetooth module, the battery, I'll Velcro up. And uh, we're good. It's now monitoring uh, all the sensors and reporting it via Bluetooth so when we seal this thing up we now have a payload it's nice and light with the lithium polymer battery it's uh, gonna work pretty good pretty happy about that and uh, we'll move on to the next stage of the project uh, if, if this helped you at all or you find this stuff interesting please post a comment down below I love hearing from you guys I'm getting a lot of uh, really good comments lately really love interacting with you guys that's why I uh, 
That's why I make these videos. I could have done this a lot faster and probably a lot higher quality without the camera in the way every step of the way and sort of having to plan out how I'm going to show things. So I'm really happy that you guys can join me in this and hopefully we get this thing into space. Anyway, thanks for watching.